UC. This is in college. So okay. This is my back. UC Davis. UC Davis. UC Davis. Yeah, yeah, three okay. Years now. And I think I would say I met this is before we started dating, but I met Jenny for the first time, like sophomore year, I think. Right? Remember? I th- it was after. Yeah. We both had similar major as science, and mm-hmm. I can remember. I think the first time I saw her, I remember being outside of was it my like bio one hundred and one class, <laughs> and I'm by the bike rack. And I remember so noticing that she had nice legs, and I was like, "Oh, that, there you go. Look that was one of the legs. first things I noticed." And um, <laughs> I think you were talking to one of my friends, and but I don't even know if we spoke that much. Yeah, we didn't really know each other well. We were in class together. I noticed him, and then I, I guess he noticed me, but. He, I was friends with a lot of his friends. It just kind of worked out that yeah. way. But then he left for Italy to study abroad. So the things kind of yeah. took a break as far as us getting to know each other. And then um, I, while he was gone, became really good friends with a group of his friends. All of our classes were together. Um, like he said, we were all biology majors. And then um, he moved He moved back, and he was back in school senior year. Hmm. So that's kind of when we first started really getting to know each other. I think I saw him for the first time at the homecoming game and he was with his little brother, Nick, who was yeah, like, yeah. at the time probably 15 years old or something. <laughs> He'd come up from Fresno and I, and he said hi to me and I was like, oh, the, Steve Giovanetti's back. What Steve didn't mention when he um, is before is that when he left for Italy, he um, had a girlfriend, and so he'd always had, a, and he'd always had a girlfriend, and so it was no, never, it, was, it was like sophomore year. It was never yeah, really was, even was on my. Year. He wasn't really totally on my radar, um, just because he was taken. So uh, when he came back, he was single. So okay, there you that's go. That's when we started that's dating. <laughs> yeah, I think it was February of our senior year is when we first like went on our first date. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. I think I took him. Oh no, we met with uh, with other friends and went um, swing dancing. Like did okay. a swing dance le- lesson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, at that time, we were busy with school and tr- trying to figure out what we were going to do with our careers. And um, you know, we we're going to be graduating that year, and um, it was just a really busy time. But we kind of, I I feel like in my mind, I was so focused and so driven on school and getting through school, getting through college, and you know, doing the best I could. And then as soon as we started dating, it was like everything went out the door. And I think I got my first, like, B. <laughs> Yay, I had a really high GPA until I met Steve. And then we just were um, seeing each other, like, every day, um, hanging out all the time. And it was great because his friends and my group of friends, all the girls that I lived with, were really, really, we all were good friends. And yeah, so it was a really true. fun time. And um, then we did have to think about what are we going to do for our jobs and where are we going to live and what's going to happen. And... Um, I was looking at nursing school and Steve was looking at law school. We decided, you know, we'd only been dating for a short time, but we decided we were going to, wherever we go, we we're going to go together. So, um, you know, if we stayed on the West Coast, then we would go to school on the West Coast together. If we went to the East Coast, we'd, we'd stay together and, and we'd both go to the East Coast. So I think at that point, you know, we'd only been dating for maybe four or five months, but we knew this was like long term. So we're going to make it work however it works. Right. So I can remember telling a friend, um, before we were dating, you know, if I just had a chance to have one date with him, I would be happy for the rest of my life. (laughs) (laughs) Which sounds ridiculous now, but, um, but I think I knew if I could just, if I could just hang out with him and we could, I mean, I just knew like, that's, that's, I'm already in love with him. We haven't even dated yet. I'm already like head over heels for him. And so I would say, yeah, I would say probably by that summer, um, like, like what Jenny said, we were already like looking toward graduate school and Mm -hmm. it was, it was, it wasn't even a second thought that like, yeah, I still wanted to, wherever we go, I want to, you know. We were going to be together. Be together, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Definitely, and then as we met, like, I met his family, it was just a really good fit, and he met my family, and everyone just, yeah. like, loved Steve. Like, oh my gosh, my mom was, my parents were just like, this is a great guy, and my brothers and sister all were, yeah. oh yes, every, like, Steve was, like, the favorite family member. <laughs> yeah, and actually the first time he met all my siblings was in Vegas. Oh, yeah. Um, that so that was actually... It was an all at once kind of a thing where he just met my entire family in one weekend in Vegas and um, and had a really and it was just an easy fit you know Steve fits yeah. right in and you know everyone gets along with him and I think I think I knew right away and I think um, my everyone around us knew right away like oh okay yeah they found each other and they'll get married and mm-hmm. it's just a matter of when because they've got to get through school and, and right. figure all that yeah, out that's so. True. Right. So yeah, okay. I lived in Baltimore and Steve was in um, Northern Virginia. So we right. were about an hour away from each other, which we figured was doable um, for those years of school. Just right. a couple of years. We lived yeah. apart and um, saw each other every weekend. And I was up in Virginia more than 
he was in Baltimore just because um, I have family in Virginia and it was just mm-hmm. it was just a nice kind of getaway for me right um, and then within two years when as soon as I graduated I moved up to to Virginia to be we were we weren't living together yet but we were I think a mile apart in apartments you know right. so that worked out really well so we ended up and we ended up getting married I guess was it a year after that yeah, we moved in together like in the fall, and then we got married yeah. in, in April. Yeah, we bought a I house, we were, yeah. and then got married. Like the we were engaged, year. yeah, and then. Yeah. Okay, well, how did you do the proposal? How did this happen? Oh to yeah, you? Was, <laughs> like... I know. I'm gonna like think back now. So, um, I uh, yes, yeah, so I was doing all the research, found the ring at this really like neat um, kind of mom and pop like boutique in uh, Northern Virginia, and then I knew I was gonna propose to her. I, so I, I wanted to ask her parents first, right? You know, okay. I thought that that's that's how it should be done and just you know out of respect and um so i was trying to find the opportunity you know, when would i be able to see them because i want to do it in person as well okay. not just over the phone if i could because i knew i would be seeing them i think that year so uh we coordinated um to go to her parents for, for or, new, or year's. new year's yeah new year's we were, we were i was at my parents showed everybody the ring you know i was as a summer associate this was like all my savings right like, right got a, <laughs> got a whole lot of this so we uh you know, took the ring back. We were um, both at our own parents' house, and then, um, you know, so I read the news that my parent, my family knew this. You know, that I was planning this, and so that I went there for New Year's, and I had it all planned out. I, um, I kind of was waiting for an opportunity um, to speak with Jenny's mom. I found her, and I asked her, and she was, you know, really excited, and really sweet about it, and um, you know, of course, said, you know, we would love for you guys to get married. So then I had to find her dad. Her dad's, you know, he's a great guy, but he's he's old school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's also, I knew he was going to like, yeah, I knew he was going to um, make me sweat a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I found him. I think and when I started talking, he like, I could tell that he knew. He had this big mallet because he, he's a little bit of a arach- arachnophobia. And, right. Or, you know, it's, and so he has this big mallet that I think Jenny's sister got him once that says spider hammer. Right. And so we sat down. I was like, oh, I want to talk to you. Uh, you know, can we have a few moments? And moments together and, I, and he just knew right away because he picked up the mallet. <laughs> he was <laughs> just, just like holding it like this. <laughs> yeah. And, and usually I'm pretty good when it comes to speaking with people but man I will say that moment like yeah your dad's gonna be happy about this I was starting to get real nervous I, you know I what think if it, he says no yeah that's just the moment right you're asking <laughs> you know it's, you're nervous when yeah. you're asking your you know your future wife's mother as well but then there's also you know, the, the, dad. The, the dad you know more intimidating and um so it didn't really come out as smooth as I thought it would but you know he understood and um and uh, of course, gave me his blessing. And so then, and then they were then they were helping me try to coordinate. I wanted to propose to Jenny. Her parents live in San Juan Islands, mm-hmm. on San Juan, and it's really beautiful. And there's this hike you can take to the top of the island, and you have this beautiful view, like for see Victoria from yeah. there, and um, you know surrounding islands. And I said, oh, that's that's perfect. Well, you know, we've done this hike before, and I wanted to propose to her up at the top of this this hike. And um, but then Jenny. Felt. I think I was sick. She was getting she was sick, right? So I had all planned out. <laughs> oh, it was supposed no. to be this day. And it was also poor, like rainy and yeah, rainy the weather and was cold. Tricky. And oh, okay. So I think I kind of messed up the plan for that day. And so we had to push it the next day, and then Jenny felt up to it. And so yeah, we took the hike to the top, and um, and yep, got down on one knee, and it was a really pretty day. It was sunny, it was, yeah. and it was worth the wait because it was beautiful. Yeah, it was beautiful, beautiful day. And asked yeah. your Mary, she said yes. And then said yes, married, and then. then we got married um, a year, almost a year and a few months later. Um, we had to finish up. I don't, I don't know, I guess you were finishing up school. Yeah, but then then it was the question is, where do we get married? Because his family's in Fresno, and we were living on the East Coast, and my parents were in the, um, Friday Harbor, and so we decided to get married in Long Beach, which is where I was raised, okay. born and raised. And so um, so that was great because we went to the church that I grew up at, and we ended up doing our reception at the same reception site that my parents had had their reception at. You know, 30 oh, years, nice. 30 yeah, years nice. before. That's so pretty cool. It was really cool. We tried to get a picture that was similar to one of their wedding pictures, yeah. but it it didn't turn out exactly how I envisioned, but at least still, we still did get a picture. Um, and it was, yeah, it was really nice. Um, I think we, I wouldn't say it's like opposites attract. There's, we, we're different personalities, but they complement each other. Right. So okay. I think that's a big part of it because Jenny it excels at things that I'm not as strong at and I think and vice versa. And right. so I think with that, we make a good team I, right. as far as, you know, just as husband and wife, but then also raising our kids and then everything we do. Uh, but we do, we have, we have, we share similar values and I would say we, we see eye to eye on most things. He's right. He compliments me in a lot of ways, especially I, I think with parenting. Like if I get stressed out about something, he's like, he's more relaxed and more, and sometimes I'm like, gosh, I wish you weren't so relaxed or so, <laughs> you know, how can you be relaxed about this? But then I'm like, oh, I'm so glad that he's different and he is relaxed about this because if we were both 
you know, stressed and then you just you know, feed off each we, other. Yeah, we would, it would, and it would be <laughs> awful, you know. So I think appreciating the differences in each other is is definitely important. Yeah.